So, hello, Tom. Hey, Ed. Um, I'm here for uh, Tobinski. Uh, Danny couldn't make it, sadly, uh, to LA. Ooh. And so I wanted to uh, give you a quick look at the uh, harmonic timing generator, um, which um, has creates harmonics of, uh, of its uh, basic signal that you adjust here. And then you, have, you can use it in two ways. You can either use it in low frequency to, for example, clock different sequencers, or you can use it in audio. And first I wanted to show you the uh, controlling the sequencer. And the great thing is that you have the master out section, which is uh, here to be seen. So we see the, uh, that we are tapping out one now, so exactly the speed set here. But we have two more sections, so select two and select three. Um, and I'm controlling um, two tracks of the sequencer with uh, out one, and then two and three control uh, um, two other tracks of the sequencer, which we will hear in a second, or maybe we already hear it. And uh, then I can use, uh, then we can modulate them. And so we can do ratcheting type of stuff. And um, Okay, so it's driving the sequencer. Yeah. But then you're using the other sequencer to do the ratchets? Is that, is that how it is? No, actually um, the sequencer itself controls select two and three. So I'm doing, uh, because I've split the sequence into four single ones, and two we are listening to via these low pass gates here, and the other two control each of the other. So you can do a lot of stuff and. Uh, Um, and is it always? Is it always? I guess because it's harmonically related, it's like exactly a, that's it's why it stays in time. Yeah, exactly. And then you have uh, like you have this uh, control panel up here with the switches, so you can easily connect this to your uh, controlled um, device. So, meaning if I press the stop button here and stop the uh, main oscillator driving this. Uh, it will also stop this oscillator and then reset it to step one. So if we look here to be uh, at the step one lamps, if I turn it back on, you can see that it jumps back to step one. So it's always uh, in time. Excellent. So um, obviously we, we're listening to it in low pass, uh, low frequency mode at the moment. Yeah. But we're going to have a listen to it in audio mode, right? Yeah, this as well, yeah. So... We've got that drone going. I can hear. I can hear that oscillator just droning. Exactly. Out. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we are in the in the se select one gives us this panel down here to select the harmonics. We can choose which one to take, and uh, accordingly, uh, number two and three are selectable via the knobs. So then let's... Um and we can modulate this. So basically, we are ru we, it runs on a um, falling sawtooth, but we can also switch it. Uh, we have a triangle output that we can insert to the reference in if we like. To give us a different sound. And a square wave. And then you can have this expander, which uh, um, it's a, it provides like a scanner mixing function and they're connected backwards and on the way from this module to this um, the waveform is transformed to be a sine wave so that we for more mellow tones and and this guy 
also has a very open um, architecture. So we have once we have the scanner, so we can actually scan through it and set the width as we like it. Or we have a mixer, then we can listen to the fader settings and can create a manual mix. And all those two functions can be used at the same time. So we could, let's say we have uh, the scanner over here, then we can use the mixer separately on its own outputs by just inserting signals here. So it's again really quite complex and open the architecture. So you could use this uh, not only for the purpose of uh, uh, transforming this to sine waves and scanning through them, but you could also uh, you could also use this as a um, like a scanning mixer. As a mixer, you can also use it uh, uh, to pan signals, use the odd and even to be left and right, and uh, so you have plenty of options there. And since it's also voltage controllable on the CVs, and in the end, it's normal. Uh, VCA, so you have an in and out and a CV input. You could also use this for CVs, so Amazing. for all types of things. Brilliant. Well, Tom. Oh, prices? Do we know? Do we know prices and shipping? Uh, not. I mean, they are really. These are the very latest prototypes, so they go on production now, and I, I think it's something like maybe 400. So this range, I would say. Brilliant. Well, Tom, thank you very much for speaking You're to welcome, us. You're welcome, Ed. Thank you. See you soon.